Welcome to our broadcast of the 55th Annual O'Brien County Fair with your host, Blake Laws, LaShonda Cook, and many more. Stay tuned for a look at the sights and sounds of the fair. Thursday is Senior Citizens and Special Needs Day with free admission until 5. The Junior and Open Beef Show in the Livestock Barn. Steel Magnolia Live in Concert on the Real Food Bank Stage at 8. Two performances of the Fair Show Musical in the Whitney Cozart Pavilion, plus back porch stage entertainment. And come see Barney Five Live in person for the last time. Come out and enjoy every night of the 55th Annual O'Brien County Fair. Welcome to the 55th Annual O'Brien County Fair. I'm Blake Law. And I'm LaShonda Cook. It is Thursday night here at the fair, and we have a sponsor of the day, and it is First Citizens National Bank. So on Thursday, uh, you can start your day off at 6 p.m. It's uh, Senior Citizens Day as well, and some of the local churches get together and grill hamburgers for the senior citizens, and then they can come on out to the fair um, at 6 p.m. You'll also have Barney Fife will be back again tomorrow night. He wrote me a ticket. What do so. you write you a ticket for? <laughs> Uh, for causing too many traffic jams. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he meant, but that's what he said. I was causing too many traffic jams. Um, but I also saw him interacting with the crowd and taking lots of pictures with people. So it's lots of fun to get to see him. He's something unique to the fair this year, so you won't want to miss that. And he will be here tonight uh, starting at 6, and then he'll be here and probably until about 10 o'clock. So tonight is your last opportunity to come out and see Barney Five here at the fair. It's also a $10 admission night. You pay $10 to get in, and you'll be able to ride on that same $10 all night long until the rides end at 10. Um, we also have the concert night. Thursday is the concert night. Steel Magnolia will be here live in concert at 8 o'clock on the Real Foot Bank stage. Yeah. Um, and you also be able to see uh, the fair musical that night at 7 and 9. There will be two separate showings of that show. Uh, so you can watch that as well as come and see the concert. And then after the concert is over, we will have the nightly drawing for the $1,000 winner at that same stage that the concert is going to take place on. Right. So come early, get a good seat uh, for the Steel Magnolia concert. And once again, that does start uh, tonight at 8 p.m. So That's it right. should be a, a good crowd right. for it, and we're looking forward to it. And once again, First Citizens National Bank, we do right. thank them. They are the sponsor of the day. So uh, thank you to these guys. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and we've got some footage of some things going on, and we want to show you that now, and we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. From cow shows to carousels, Obine County Fair is my favorite place to be. I'm Garrel Miles, your 2013 Fairest of the Fair. Hi, this is LaShonda Cook, and we're here with Miss Anna Oliver. She is one of the... Uh, youth area youth that is taking part in the fair show so anna is this your first year doing the fair show no it's not this is my second year doing the fair show and i love it so how far in advance do you all start practicing we start at the beginning of summer about the first of june so do you know how many people are participating in the show this year there are about 40 i'm pretty sure there's 21 girls and 10 guys oh wow okay so you had a show tonight at seven and then you show again at what time nine o'clock do you have any solo performances? Yes, I do. I sing Rumor Has It in Adele. All right. So come on out to the fair. They'll show tonight at 9 p.m. again. Um, it'll be the following nights at 7 and 9 for the rest of the week at the fair. You can see Miss Anna Oliver in her solo performance. You also can check out some of the other area youth talent that's here performing in the fair show. Hello, my name is Chelsea Darnell, and I am the head of the O'Brien County Fair Youth Board. The Youth Board is a group, group of about 15 young people from ages from 7th grade to 12th grade. They come out to the fairgrounds periodically throughout the summer to do different things to prepare the fairgrounds for the fair. This year our Youth Fair Board painted the benches through the midway, right. and they also take part in cleaning all the glass in the windows and everything of the surrounding areas. The kids are pick by selection process where they turn in their application at the Obion County 4-H office and we go through the applications and we decide who would be best suited through sometimes it's age, the different community stuff they're involved in throughout their schools. We usually select students from Obion County Central, Union City, or South Fulton. The youth board members are normally working towards our Tennessee Scholars 
for when they graduate. This gives them community service hours. Normally they have to have about 80. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of kids wanting to do a lot of things. Normally they can get anywhere from 10 to 20 hours. That's just a little tidbit about our Obion County Fair Youth Board. I want to invite y'all to come out and enjoy the fair with us this week. This week. Thank you. And welcome to the Obion County Fair. I'm LaShonda Cook, and I'm sitting here with Brian Christopher. He's one of our wrestlers that are here, is here tonight, going to put on a show for us. So, Brian, tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'll tell you what. Before I get started telling you a little bit about me, let me give a proper introduction, okay? Because you just called me Brian Christopher, and that's just, you know, that's kind of, uh, there's no pizzazz right there. I am former WWE World Tag Team Champion Grandmaster Sex A, Brian Christopher. Now that's how you do an introduction, girl. What's your name? LaShonda Cook. LaShonda, nice, nice to meet you, LaShonda. This is a, this is an unbelievable fair. I've seen there's thousands and thousands of people here. You know, we got the wrestling tonight. Uh, I can't wait to get in the ring. I'm gonna hurt somebody and I'm gonna hurt them bad. Oh, are you gonna watch my match? Of course. If you know it's the main event, right? Because I'm the best, right? That's right. That's what I hear. Right, and you know that I'm gonna win, then, right? Of course. Hey, how about wh why don't you? What about if you came down? What about if you came down there and were my valet? Can you do that for me? Can you come down there and take my robe and take my my goggles and my shades and stuff like that? Can you do that? Of course. Could, of you, course. could you, if I asked you to, could you do a little a little hip hop dancing? Can you do that? Can, let's see. Let's see you do a little hip hop dancing. Come on. Oh, You're stretching. I got, her shy. I got her shy. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Ask me some more questions. I like this. Okay. So tell me who you're facing tonight. Tonight. I am stepping in the ring. We got a tag team match. Myself, along with the Birdman, Coco Beware, WWE Hall of Famer, Coco Beware. We're stepping in the ring against the new nature boy, Kevin White. And then, listen to this. Kevin White's partner weighs 550 pounds. Okay, 550 pounds. That's a big man. He stands about 6 foot 10. His name is King Mabel. Now, I thought the only king around these parts was Jerry the King Lawler. Isn't that what you thought? I believe so. So I already don't like this guy, King Mabel, for trying to use Jerry Lawler's name, the king. So I'm I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a few of these and a few of these and chop him down to size. And then, like I said, me and Coco Beware, we're coming out victorious tonight. All right. I'm going to watch your match. Thank you for the interview. All right. Hey everybody, it's Deputy Bernard P. Fife here at the old Obion County Fair and we're having a good old time. I'm only here for a couple of nights, Tuesday and Wednesday, so come on down or I'll have to write you a ticket. Come on down and we'll nip it. Nip it in the bud. My name's Autumn Atwell. I'm a volunteer at Helping Hand. Uh, what we do is we're a thrift store. All of our items are from donations and all of the money that we get goes to helping family in need. Uh, we are located right behind Save-A-Lot um, and also right behind Eastgate. Uh, what, we do, what we do is just help people. I mean, we try to get help as many people as we can. The more you come in and the more you buy the more items, the more money that we get to help people so we don't have to turn down as many people. So any business is good business.
welcome you back from the commercial break. Going to talk now about Friday here at the fair, which is sponsored by Wood Communications Cellular Source. Right. The weather is gorgeous uh, tonight on Thursday, and it's supposed to be gorgeous Friday and Saturday. So it's a great time to come and celebrate with us. Uh, like Blake said, Woods Communication is our big sponsor of the day on Friday. It starts the gates open at 6 p.m., and the first event that we have scheduled is the Junior Open Beef Show. Um, followed by the uh, fair show will also be there that same night at 7 and 9, and then we'll have music on the back porch stage as well at 7. Okay. And then fr uh, Friday is truck and tractor pull night, so yeah. uh, come early to get a good seat. Uh, it's always a packed house uh, over at the grandstand. Uh, it's a good show. They come in and put on a good show, uh, and that's going to be uh, at 7 o'clock at the grandstand, and that mm -hmm. is going to be sponsored by Wood Communications Cellular Source. And, of course, we'll have uh, our next nightly drawing as we have each night at the fair. That will continue on to Friday night at 10 p.m. at the grandstand, the same place that the truck and tractor pool is located. Um, and that will finish up our night on Friday. And, and then, then rolling over to Saturday, <laughs> which is our uh, sixth and final night here at the O'Brien County Fair. And it starts really early, starting at 9 a.m. with the uh, pet show, followed by the meal show at 10 a.m., and then the uh, garden tractor pull kicks off at noon on Saturday. Right. So Saturday is most famously known as Kids Day. Right. Um, it is Kids Day is sponsored by Union City Coke. One of the things that uh, the kids always like to participate in is the drawing for the bicycle giveaway. There's mm -hmm. two bikes given away, one for a girl and one for a boy. Um, and you will register at front of the fair office. Is that right, Blake? No, it's going to be over in the Whitney Cozart okay. uh, Pavilion uh, okay. starting at uh, 2.30, and they register for uh, 30 minutes, and then at 3 o'clock we will draw for a boys' and girls' bike. So the registration and the drawing all will take place at the Whitney Cozart. All Cozart's in the same home. place, right. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so you'll want to make sure that while you're here that you'll get your name in for that drawing. You never know. You may be the lucky winner of a new bicycle. So from 2 to 6 p.m. will be free admission for the children to come and to be able to get into the fair. Um, at 3 p.m., like we said, will be the bicycle giveaway. Some of the other things that are taking place that same day is the uh, garden tractor pull and the breeding sheep show. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, at 7 o'clock in the uh, outdoor arena, we will have demolition derby action. Uh, looking for a good turnout of cars on Saturday night. And uh, we hope you come out and join us for the demolition derby. Yeah, and so our, our main sponsor of the, of the day that carries on into the night is the Johnson Heating and Air. And they'll actually be uh, the company that's sponsoring the demolition derby that day. Um, also on that same day will be the Wool and Woolies Review that starts at 5 p.m. And at 6 p.m. is the Market Lamb and Commercial U Show. Right, and those uh, events will take place over in the Livestock Barn. Don't forget we will have music on the back porch stage starting at 7 o'clock on Saturday night. And then uh, two performances of the Fair Show Musical, the last two performances at 7 and 9 p.m. And then uh, to round out the week's events uh, on Saturday night, we will have a $1,000 nightly drawing. Yeah. So the fair is the place to be it this is. time of the year. Got great uh, weather. You can't ask for any better weather. No. There's no excuses to not be here at the fair. It's a great place to have a date or uh, bring your children for a family night so you wouldn't want to miss the fair. Right, or just, just come out. Just yeah. come out and enjoy uh, some of the many events that we have uh, here for you uh, from the truck and tractor pool, demolition derby. Uh, we've got a little bit of everything, uh, something for everyone. That's right. Lots of food to eat. Right. I personally have sampled quite a bit of that. <laughs> Some uh, so. corn dogs, Polish sausage, funnel cakes. Fair pizza. Oh, yeah. Homemade lemonade. It's all good. Cotton candy. It's all caramel good. Caramel apples. Oh, caramel apples. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Can't forget that. So um, if you don't like to uh, participate in riding rides that everybody likes to eat, mm -hmm. so lots of things to do here at the fair. So come on out and join us uh, right here at the O'Brien County Fair. And that's going to wrap us up uh, for tonight. I hope right. to see you back tomorrow night. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast of the 55th Annual O'Brien County Fair with your host, Blake Laws, LaShonda Cook, and many more. Be sure to come out every night for rides, games, food, and family fun going on now through Saturday, August 17th.
On Friday, events include the Junior and Open Beef Show in the Livestock Barn, Truck and Tractor Pull at the Grandstand, two performances of the Fair Show Musical in the Whitney Cozart Pavilion, and Back Porch Stage Entertainment. Don't forget, Saturday is Kids Day from 2 until 6, sponsored by Union City Coke. Come out and enjoy every night of the 55th Annual O'Brien County Fair.